if anything about Bitcoin is predictable, whether it be through technical analysis, psychology, or pure mathematics, I believe that Bitcoin's predetermined path is primarily because of its pre-scheduled, hard-coded block reward halvings that are encoded in Bitcoin's very DNA that puts it in its own class separate from other assets and separate from pesky little human emotion and error composed of pure mathematics. So this week we are going to discuss two very useful technical studies. One excellent at predicting tops in Bitcoin's four-year cycles and the other excellent in predicting bottoms. Both of them come from prominent numbers in mathematics. This is the Bitcoin Minute. You're going to want to stay tuned for this one. I'm Joseph Wagner and welcome to the rabbit hole. Okay, so at the beginning of the show, I told you that Bitcoin is in essence numbers. Every great discovery lives inside of the numbers that we assign, and more importantly, the relationship of one number to the next. Not only numbers, but equations will continue to propel us into the future. And there stands some numbers and some equations more important than others. One number that has propelled human understanding is pi. It is an irrational number, meaning it can't be expressed in a fraction, and it goes on forever. I'm speaking about pi in reference to the pi cycle top indicator that I just put up on the screen. What this indicator shows us is two moving averages. The blue one is our longer 350 day moving average, and our orange one is a 111 day moving average. Divide 350 by 111 and you get a number about as close to pi as you're gonna get. And what this indicator has done very successfully is predict cycle tops in Bitcoin. Let me just get rid of our candlesticks for a second so we can just see the indicator. Now this is in log scale. So you can see the whole history of data we have for Bitcoin. Right here, the shorter term broke above the longer term, June 2011. The next time it happened was in April 2013 and December 2013. And the next time it crosses above the longer term is December 2017, which was the month that we hit $20,000 for the first time and Bitcoin essentially became a mainstream household name. Right here, this is our 2021 previous all-time high. If we zoomed in, you would see that by a fraction of a hair, the shorter term doesn't move above the longer term. But for all essential purposes, I'm gonna label this a successful mark, and let's go put the pricing or the candlesticks back on so you can see how fucking accurate this is. And let's take it out of log. Right here is where it crossed. And this was the first time Bitcoin cracked $60,000. Here's our 2017 December when we breached 20,000 for the first time. If we go back even further, this was our 2013 rally. And even before that, preceding the 2013 rally, as you can see, this indicator is pretty phenomenal and if we were to go by this indicator we would see that we are nowhere near our cycle top I'm gonna to put up another math based indicator on the screen this is a logarithmic growth curve these are different levels this is 100 percent 0 percent 50 and our negative 23.6 percent this bottom negative 23.6% has been amazing at predicting 
the lows in Bitcoin. Look at that. Now, we did break through this just like we broke below the 200-week moving average when Bitcoin hit its recent bottom in 2022. Since then, it has moved distinctively off of this negative 23.6% band and has recently gone into the positive above the 0% band. Now, we could see in previous cycles, they all maxed out no higher than this top of the band. 2021 didn't reach as high, but both tops nonetheless surpassed the 50% band. That makes me believe that we can easily expect for the top to come in for this cycle at or around $182,000, based on this study, that is. So let's tie this all back to the halving. I am going to put up on the screen vertical lines representing the date of the previous three and the anticipated date of our next halving. If you notice, these tops, all of them, are nowhere near the halving dates. Basically smack dab in the middle. That also tells us that this cycle top is nowhere near over. And this growth curve is great at predicting bottoms just as the pi cycle top indicator was great for predicting tops in the market. One more thing to note is that prior to every rally going parabolic, Bitcoin would have to have at least one monthly candle that opened and closed above the 0% band, such as here. You see that here? You see that here? And, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are printing our first candle that opened above this 0% growth curve. So there you have it, folks. This cycle is set to top out at no less than $180,000. And we currently, according to these studies, are about halfway between the bottom and the apex. In the short term, I'm looking for a correction down to around 59,000, and that's based on my own personal equation, which will be the subject of our next episode when we dive deeper into that deep, dark rabbit hole. Thanks for joining us.